Now, as you all, all are familiar that what do you mean by disease? You know that disease is discomfort that means the malfunctioning of body or body organs due to any reason. And we have also learned in the previous chapter that there are many factors which influence the disease or which is actually the cause of spreading disease. We know that there are foodborne diseases which are spread due to, uh, uh, due to intake of contaminated food. There are diseases which spread due to uh, contaminated water. There are certain diseases that spread through direct contact. There are diseases that spread through air, airborne diseases that means that spread through droplet infection. And there are diseases which are vector -borne. So that means we all should make an effort to uh, prevent the disease. So in this chapter we are going to study about the prevention that what all we can do in order to prevent the disease. So, uh, in case of foodborne disease, we can actually prevent the foodborne disease by, as you all know that it occurs due to intake of contaminated food. So that means we can just prevent that contamination. Just look at the board that how we can uh, prevent that uh, contamination. Always wash your hands while preparing food. So whenever you are preparing food, don't use your raw hands because uh, you have been uh, using your hands for various purposes. So that means there are so many germs which stick to your hand. So do not use your hands as such for preparing food. Just wash them properly so that they are uh, like, uh, I know that 100% uh, removal of germs are not possible. But still you can actually um, put an effort actually that you can uh, reduce the possibility of occurrence of disease or spread of the germs. So wash your hands. Second is that the dish clothes that you use in kitchen, they should be properly dried and they should be properly clean as well. And whenever you consume meat and fish, sometimes what, uh, what happens when we are cooking meat and fish, we think that uh, like if we'll uh, cook more, they actually, uh, you can say, become more soft or uh, they are not uh, uh, made properly. But whenever you are cooking food, then just look at it that your meat and fish should be properly cooked so that the germs are uh, killed actually because they are the uh, you can say the living source so they carry a lot of germs in them so you need to kill them uh, you need to kill those germs and for that you have to cook the food thoroughly next do not consume back packed food after expiry whenever you uh, bring a packed food let's see like with modernization many of the people they don't have time to cook food so they mainly food uh, feed on the canned and the packed food so just look at the date that is mentioned on it that uh, that when it get expiry expired so after the expiry date please do not consume that because that is the specific period after that uh, it doesn't uh, become uh, it doesn't remain the fresh it becomes rancid so just look at that expiry date before consuming that packed food Pasteurized milk, as we have done that pasteurization is heating uh, milk at uh, like around 70 to 100 degrees Celsius and then cooling it and uh, if we do it then uh, the, uh, the germs get killed. So please always before consuming milk pasteurize it so whenever you bring packets of milk or uh, there is a milkman who is coming to deliver you the milk so just pasteurize it before using. Keep kitchen clean. Your kitchen should be uh, like use disinfectants and also that it should be free from rodents and cockroaches and all because they are also the cause of, uh, behind the spread of the disease. So this is how you can actually prevent the foodborne disease. Now coming on to the waterborne, we know that uh, waterborne disease occur due to use of contaminated water. So the first thing is that do not use untreated water. Make use of uh, the ROs and all the aqua guards and all because they purify the water. Boiled water is the cheapest, uh, you can say, the cheapest source if you need to treat water. So just boil it because after boiling, uh, like uh, when you boil it, then also the microorganism gets killed. Store water in a closed container. Please do not uh, store it in an open way because there are many germs around and many flies and all. They can actually enter into it, the mosquitoes and all. So do not uh, uh, keep the water container uh, without a lid. So this is how you can prevent the waterborne diseases. Now coming on to the disease that spread through contact. So obviously if we want need to prevent these diseases, we need to uh, stop, <coughs> we need to put a barrier so that uh, there should not be a the spread of disease by a direct contact. So after using toilets, please wash your hands because toilets are full of germs. So whenever you use toilets or you uh, use anything uh, in the washrooms and all, please clean your hands because after coming out you are going to use your hands for various purposes so it may spread germs. 
like that when you are eating your food because when you are eating you are using your hand so when you use your hand your hand should be free from germs so please wash your hands before consuming food disposed used tissue please do not use the uh, the used tissues again and again because that can be a cause of the uh, spread of the disease keep uh, keep infected wounds clean because see if the when uh, like in line in a life span span or every day you get a, a minute cut and all due to any reason on your uh, body so please keep the, those wounds clean uh, just rub them with the towel and all and uh, apply a, this thing the antiseptic cream because otherwise they can be a source of infection keep public places clean because you know that public places like railway stations and all they are they have been used for they are they are used actually randomly by random people so you don't know that like the who is the infected person and who can actually spread germs so please try to keep those public places clean avoid sharing soaps combs cl personal clothes etc because that might be a cause of uh, spread of disease so this is how you can actually prevent the spread of the disease which spread through a direct contact just avoiding the contact direct contact or if if there is a direct contact we are just trying to wash our hands or wash something so that we can actually um, try to we are just trying to kill the germs so this is how you can actually prevent now coming on to the airborne infections because we know that the airborne diseases are actually spread due to droplet infection and droplet uh, comes in air when you sneeze or cough so whenever you are coughing or sneezing please cover your mouth or nose because that can be a uh, uh, you can say that can be a main cause for this behind the spread of the airborne disease because when you cough or sneeze we have already learned that the same air is inhaled by the another person who is a healthy one so that can be a spread of disease uh, to that person also so please cover your nose or mouth whenever you are coughing or sneezing and please if you are using any tissues for covering your mouth or nose please do not use the same tissues again and again because those tissues carry germs so whenever you use again so again uh, they are they they will actually spread disease and do not use the tissues like if some person is uh, suffering from cough or something flu or something please don't avoid using uh, his or her handkerchiefs now in order to prevent the disease caused by vectors you have to keep hygienic surroundings because hygienic surroundings because if there will be an hygienic surroundings there will be no mosquitoes and all because these are the main vectors which spread disease so you need to maintain the hygienic surroundings moreover mosquito nets to be used because we know that the vectors are mostly mosquitoes so use mosquito nets uh, avoid uh, use mosquito repellents like odomos and all on your body so that you can actually prevent uh, the bite from the mosquitoes please use vaccines because whenever the whenever or which disease uh, has a certain vaccines please do, uh, do vaccinations properly on time and to cover food articles please do not keep your food articles or your made food without a lid because the mosquitoes may uh, sit on that and they can also spread the disease in that way also and do not consume the roadside food as you can see that this is much popular nowadays there are a lot of vendors who are uh, standing roadside and they are just serving food at cheap rates so uh, the people are not uh, wasting the hotels and all because they are just saving the you can say their money and they are feeding on the roadside vendors which provide cheap food so just look at it that how they are preparing food they like they are the machines and all what they all articles what they are using is clean or not or they are keeping the food uh, covered or it is uh, you can say it is just kept without a lid so that uh, without a lid and because if we, if that person is keeping the food without a lid there is a chance that mosquitoes and flies and all may be sitting on it and they may be transferring the germs so please do not use that kind of food don't please do not feed on it so these if you will just um, try to actually uh, use 90% of this prevention against these disease you may uh, you may you can say uh, ma making a effort to prevent yourself from disease so please start doing from today just try to uh, the, uh, this thing uh, analyze these things that they are actually the cause of disease that uh, that is uh, a spreading uh, disease disease are spread according to this so please try to uh, take these preventions and you can save your life and you can save many lives too so this is what is the prevention against the many diseases